so this is the sawing technique I learned from Roy Underhill. I was uh, down there teaching a rocking chair class and he went around and showed me how to do this after I taught all the students how to do it. Uh, and it's much better. I was always sawing uh, to where I could only see, I was sawing three lines, but only could see two. But he, he says saw, well, first you get your, your curve started. So you back it up using your thumb as a stop there and you've got your curve started. So then you get, uh, get it going on that corner and you're sawing up at a 45 degree angle. So that does two things. One, it dampens vibration. You'll get more vibration sawing in, in across the, uh, the vise than pulling up from it. Um, and so it makes the sawing smoother. But it also means that I'm only, I'm, I'm only sawing two lines, this one across the top and this one across the front, both of which I can see at this moment. So I'm gonna saw those two lines, and these are the ones I'm taking out. I'm sawing, I'm removing these pencil lines as best I can. My sawing is not any better than Curtis's, it's probably worse. Um, so I'm gonna go down to my seven eighths mark here, across the front, do the same thing on the other side. Um, and then flip it around. And now you can't see the far side, but the saw will track in those curves that you have there. And so it will, you can see what you're cutting on the side closest to you and the saw will track on the, what's already been sawn on the far side. And it all works out pretty well. So get down to your lines on both sides there. Boy, I was not square across the top there. Now I've had students that could saw this and well, once they remove this waste, the rocker would just slide right in. I always have to do a little chiseling. Um, so then I put the coping saw down to within about an eighth of an inch of the bottom of that slot I've just, that kerf I've just created, and then start trying to turn it. And you can turn it really quick in there. Um, you know, you wanna watch both sides of that uh, saw cut, because you can be, you know, tilted in there so that you're cutting way too low on one side and not deep enough on the other. Uh, and then just, <laughs> Cut that out and usually right about here when I'm thinking well am I going to run into my wall that I'm trying to keep I start angling it just a tad bit so that the side of the blade that's closest to me is in front and that way I know that the rear isn't going to do anything dangerous uh, disastrous and then once I get done on the front then I'll start creeping the back forward uh, without moving the front forward. I guess you could also take it out and come back the other way. That might be even safer. I don't ever do that, but. There you go.